Hey folks, it's Dr. Sean Baker here. I know there's a lot of rumors out there about how difficult or easy it may be to cook, shop, dine on a low-carb meat-based diet or a carnivore diet. Why? 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 Well, let's talk about some of those things. Let's bust a few myths out there. So first of all, cooking on a low-carb diet is totally boring. Well, that's largely a lie. It can be very, very fun. In fact, you can do a lot of things uh, and make meals very delicious. You can certainly braise, grill, sauce, marinade, bake, pressure cook, air fry, pan fry, stir fry, broil and roast things, right? I'm sure there's even more. Something I missed, let me know in the comments. Let's talk about some other lies out there. So cooking with a lot of fat will cause you to become fat. Now, that also is not true, and there are a number of studies that show that not to be the case. So cooking in a low-carb diet can be delicious in many ways, and some of those animal fats are darn tasty. You guys try duck fat sometimes, it's delicious. Again, once again, you can braise, grill, sauce, marinate, bake, and, and on and on with the fats as well. Using fat as fuel, your body starts to preferentially, as glycogen is depleted, utilize more fat, and therefore you can burn fat while including eating fat. Eating a low-carb meat-based diet, your body starts to often have less inflammation, which also can be helpful. Studies show that when individuals are put on low-carb diets instead of a conventional diet, they often not only lose weight, but they also maintain that weight loss. This particular chart here is quite interesting and shows that from, from a recent study. So if you're wanting to achieve a healthy weight, a low-carb diet is definitely a way to go. Now, I see some people are maintaining, a lot of people are making these elaborate, you know, multi-step meals, which they don't have time for, and Quite honestly, I don't either. I usually just throw a steak on the grill and I'm done. Delicious. But that's just me. But anyway, you have a lot of ways you can do this. So you can, you can, uh, you know, do, do, do what I do. Just cook steak and go on a carnivore diet. You can do steak and eggs. A lot of people do well with just one or two ingredients, or one or two foods rather. Alternatively, if you prefer to eat some vegetables. You what? I'm, I'm not a fan of that and I don't do it. But if you want to, you can do some uh, low carb vegetables, add that to the diet very easily. And that can be a good way to continue to take care of hunger. Now, how do you want to build your meals? Step one, just pick some kind of meat. Pick your favorite meat. It could be beef, it could be chicken, it could be fish, it could be pork, it could be, it could be lamb, it could be whatever. There's lots of great ones out there. Maybe octopus is your favorite. And then, uh, you know, all these meats are going to have you you know, somewhat unique uh, compounds in them. They're a little bit different, but they generally have a full complement of the amino acids. They generally tend to be anti-inflammatory, despite what some of the plant-based advocates might tell you, uh, and they will contribute to your health. And then get ready to chow down on them. So like I said, if you want to pick a vegetable, go for it. Wait a minute. Who are you? Typically, low-carb vegetables are often uh, helpful in many cases if you don't have sensitivity. So if you if you're if you're good with those things, things like broccoli, asparagus are fine. If you if, again, if you like them, I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? I don't like them. They don't do well for me, but that's just me. All right, and then of course this is the biggest thing: avoiding these highly processed, highly inflammatory foods. Things that you might have problems. Some people have problems with dairy. I mean that does happen. Other people have problems with eggs salad dressing, seed oils, certain seasonings may be problematic for you. You should avoid really these high carb, highly refined processed foods, breaded and fried, you know, even, even meats, bread fried meats, mashed potatoes, tortilla chips, bread baskets, french fries, desserts typically. If you have a health goal you want to meet, now if you just want to be whatever, <laughs> do what you want. Now, this is kind of a starter session to get you going on this. Uh, what have you learned about cooking on a meat-based diet? Maybe you can put it in the comments so other people may benefit from that. All right, guys. If you like what we're doing here, go ahead and let us know, like, subscribe, and, you know, click the notification bell. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.